those of you here, bring you a like commentary. Um, uh, I got a like, I got a plan for that um, I'm thinking about right now, and this is like the first like video of the plan that I'm going to. I'm, I'm planning on making a video where I'll talk about tips and tricks, some advice, um, help you guys to guide yourself through Blacklight and hoping, um, uh, making yourself better in this game. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, there's like categories where like my settings, uh, gun, like gun builds or armor builds, and then like strategy, tactical, uh, gameplay on how to like hip fire, how to shoot, or how to smart, outsmart your enemy, or pre fire, whatever that. I'm separating these uh, categories and videos. So, in the first one I'm talking about right here is the, the settings. So, it's gonna be a quick video. I don't know how long this is. Depends if I love to talk a lot, if you guys know me very well. <laughs> I love to damn talk a lot. So, I hope I don't talk a lot. I'm hoping it's a five minute video. I really don't wanna keep going that long. So I want to get this over quick because it's just the settings videos. So it shouldn't take that long for me. So of course I'm gonna go to the simple ones here, which in general brightness I have it to 100. Um, as you see, I'm blind as a bat, so not really blind. I have really good vision. Just like to see my my enemies and stuff very clearly. So I have my brightness to 100. Cap FPS. You want that disabled? If you have it enabled, you're screen is gonna go to shit it's gonna tear you don't want that so you want it uh disabled cap fps now these 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 don't really matter honestly because in, in black light you have legit wall hacks so these don't really matter but for me i have them there dialogue volume i have it on maximum maximum what that does is you hear your you hear your uh your uh your friendly uh make call outs basically so an example is like someone some one of your teammates kills someone it says threat down so you don't have to worry about that threat anymore um so yeah that's basically what it is music volume i have it off i get annoyed with the music it's it's it, it sounds cool but it's fucking irritating i don't i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to keep hearing that's just me guys so if you like music go ahead I don't care. <laughs> Effects volume, what that is, where you hear like gunshots, or like uh, grenades and footsteps, and I have it on max, so that's what I do. Hit audio and damage audio. I hate this. So yeah, I I don't care if I'm I I feel my shots hitting the person as long as I see the red reticule, I'm fine. I don't care. Damage audio, I don't care about hearing myself or my my controller vibrating to know telling me I got hit. I don't care about that. If I get hit, it'll show on the red mark on my screen I got hit. That's fine with me. Emo audio, this is optional. You can I have it disabled. I don't care about emotes. Uh, voice I have it disabled. Other voice I have it disabled. Uh, off basically because I don't want to hear ten year old screaming in my fucking ear. <laughs> That's just me. Uh, I I blame Call of Duty for that. <laughs> um, auto reload enabled. These are all the Default, so don't worry about these. These are just default. Crosser, a little bit more interesting. Static crosser, you want it enabled. The reason why you want it enabled is because if you had it disabled, your crosshair, when you first first start off the game, your crosshair will like move around. Like it'll spread out, basically, is what I'm trying to say. It'll spread out. You don't want that. You want it enabled, which means you want your crosshair tight so you can have that. A sense of of uh, better aim, so that's why you want it enabled. Smart smart vertical opacity is that little circle around your crosshair. Now this you can have it completely off. I see a lot of players play it off, and I've seen players have it on. I have it to three. This is where it I can like I guess aim a little bit better, and also helps me in sniping. So if you if you want to get good at sniping, maybe this will help you out. I don't know. Try it out. If it then doesn't work out, don't use it anymore. Um, and it also tells you how long your how long your grenade is going to last and how fast you're gonna how uh, how much stamina you have basically. So that's pretty cool. If you didn't know about that, tick marks. Uh, I have it at four because that's what I'm used to and that's what I like. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to fucking twelve. 
<laughs> so yeah, but four, that's my original, it's original, it's what basically every normal player uses. Tick length, you can go all out and have ten, you can go very small and have one, but for me, it's either four or three. Cost of rotation, doesn't matter, you can have it as a, I don't know what that is, I don't, uh, uh, railroad, I guess. <laughs> um, cross opacity, which means the darkness of the crosser itself like see how it's pretty dimmed or you can have it pretty light i have it like a seven right now the, the colors it doesn't matter it just depends what you can see better uh, for yourself to shoot at your enemy so this is what i'm good at all light green all light green all light green <laughs> i love light green who doesn't <laughs> control now this is pretty good this is a little bit more interesting i think it's i think it's the more interesting uh uh topic for this uh, category uh ever look you want that shit disabled of course of course that disabled also swap sticks want that disabled clutch toggle um i have it enabled so what that means when you press the button that you stay crouched so that's what it means time aim time aim disabled that means you can aim in and then once you left your finger off the button it aims out it aims out so if you had it enabled it means you when you scope in with one click it stays scoped in and you have to click again to scope out that's what it basically it means aim assist you this is personal preference i i use aim assist disabled sometimes and i use aim assist enabled sometimes it just depends what you like best that's it sprint toggle you want that enabled the only reason why you want that enabled is when you click it to sprint you don't have to click you don't, you don't have to keep holding the L3, pressing L3 to sprint. Once you click it, once you click it, you're already sprinting. So it's pretty good. And you have to click again to stop sprinting, which is pretty nice. HRV toggle, you want this disabled. This is very important for you new players. HRV toggle means that once you click to HRV, you don't have to click again to, to un HRV. If you had it enabled, you're going to run your HRV completely out. You don't want that. You want to have as much HRV as you can. Um, there's a, there's something called HRV glitching where you can HRV and HRV keep, you can just keep HRV. And I'm not going to talk about that because I, I feel like I'm going to have a whole problem happen because as you guys know me, I don't like HRV glitching and I don't support it. So if you do it, I hate you. For doing it, not physically you, just you doing it. I hate you. You should be banned in the game. I know I used it, but I did it for revenge. So, but I don't use it anymore. It was like a couple of days that I used it and I was done. That shit is, it's weak. If you use it, you're weak. You're no skilled than, than a poor little Bambi, a noob, playing legit. So, just saying. Just saying, guys. Don't get a little butt hurt. Uh, and the sensitivity, this is probably another important part. I play at a 6 sensitivity for the hip, and for aim down sights, I play at a 3. Guys, do whatever the heck you want. It all depends on you. If you like playing at a 10, play at a 10. If you like playing at a 30, play at a damn 30. I know, I know players that play at a 30, and they're pretty decent at this game. So, it just depends. Um, I wish the sensitivities were a little bit more fixed, because I feel like I should be having the better aim when I'm going against a guy who has 11 or 12. I should be having the better aim, and I still lose to gunfights because of that. And I know my aim is like on point, but I still lose the gunfights because the other person is just able to kill me. So I don't know. I'm a little bit skeptical about the sensitivity and how it works, and and yeah, um, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, control binds. Um, Fire, I have it on R1 instead of R2. You guys might have it on R2 default, but I have it on R1. Reason why, I just I just like it like that. It makes me shoot faster and click and click really fast, response time really fast. Same with my aiming. It's L1, L1 2 to aim down faster and just quick reaction time. That's it. Sprint, of course, L3, HRV, R2, of course, because I, uh, I switched them backwards. Melee, I have it, uh, an O, the O, the next, uh, the new weapon, triangle, reload, square, crouch, R3, um, jump, X, of course, tactical, yeah, and the gear items, 
the, the default ones. Uh, I used to have them opposite, but I just been having problems with just each setting basically. So I just, you know, I went to back to default and just stick with this. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's all I gotta talk about, guys. I think the next video it will be like about the armor build and the gun build and the guide for it. So I'll help you guys out with that. But that's pretty much it, guys. And that's my settings video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, hope you. It's a guideline. It's a guideline to help you uh, seek yourself whatever you like to get. You want to get used to, you know. It's, it's it's. I make this to help you out to see to make you try new things or stuff like that. But that's pretty much my pretty much what I'm here to talk about, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And as always, guys, take care. <laughs>